Of course, Ryan Shelton on the podcast is um, he's the dry man on the one. Hugh's obviously the funny one. Um, <laughs> but no, obviously, what, I love listening to it. My, I've commentated a lot of these Adepec nights. My wife's never listened in once, but she's watching tonight just for this race. So shows okay. where uh, so hide her wife is. if you. <laughs> oh, she'll be here. She's an imperfect lover. So shout out to Catherine and the kids at home. But Brendan Cole, he's the man that's going to set up on the first leg. And I think it's important that he goes 50 point here for this team to be set up. So Brendan Cole, it was this track here where he ran his Olympic qualifier to make the 2012 London Olympics over the 400 metre hurdles. And then ironically, he's tracking down another 400 metre hurdler here. And Connor Fry has not worked out how past to run here because Connor Fry is a 47 second man and he's gone out at about 50 flat speed. As you said, Nick, it's always going to be hard to try and pace a 4x400 metre. It's not a natural thing like a distance race. As, I mean, the pace looks on so far, but it's a bit hard to tell at this point. So Connor Fry it is. Oh. As they go past the peaking duck stage on the back straight. So Connor Fry has come across, and I'm not sure what's going on here. He's cut in. So whether that was part of the plans, Connor Fry has cut across and helped him out here. So he's helping him out with the pace here. The team tactics, it's only about the 4x4 four four team get it right. And I said 50 point. And he's going to be a tick over 50, 51 up mid, I'm going to give you, BJ. So not a bad start. Glendinning's the next man to come through. So Brendan Cole, as we said, it was the Delhi Commonwealth Games where he won a 4x4. Four four. And they celebrate on that occasion with the old uh, sort of, you know, cricket appeal, if you're right. One of the bowlers, one of the... One of them came, relay runners came in, pretended to bowl. Sean Rowe hit it, and so, they then peeled around, and that was their celebration. Of course, it was in Delhi, India, so the crowd loved it. All right, so I wonder what the celebration is tonight if they break that record. We have that look to, to look oh, forward to at least. I think we've got to peel them off the track. That's going to be the yeah. biggest problem with these men. So right now, Will John's dragging through Simon Glendinning. So Glendinning, he's doing a lot of hard work here. We're going to see how close he is. Let's watch that clock as we come through. So 3.26 is the time they need. So we're looking at about 1.4. They're, they're not bad. They're not bad. Here goes Steve Hooker. This man has done amazing things in Victorian athletics. I talked about his 4x4 Victorian championships run here to sort of end his career as a professional athlete. Well, tonight he's back. How's the bounce on him at 40? Oh, he's a beautiful mover, Steve Hooker. On his social media this week, he told me that if Bruce McAvaney's commentating is worth 10%, I said if he's commentating, you can hear him. I reckon it's worth 15%. <laughs> and Bruce is right now on the microphone giving Steve Hooker all the energy he needs. As if that wasn't planned as he goes under the tunnel, under the bridge with 100 metres to go as he passes off to Hugh Camp Van Kallenberg and the crowd erupts on this front straight to get him over the line. So we're going to look at this clock. It needs to be at about, oh, I'm a bit worried. We're not, we're, not, we're close. It's going to be a 52. We need, Hugh Van Kylenberg is going to need to go probably 51 and a half, right on the average. Kev Rasool, I said before, Kev Rasool helps him out. Kev Rasool did a lot of work with Kat Bissett as well. These three are very good friends. Rasool, one of the nicest men in Victorian athletics, and here he is doing his job again. He just ran in the four by four though. <laughs> Hope his legs yeah. are okay. So Rasul in the Doncaster body suits trying to pull through Hugh Van Kylenberg. Van Kylenberg needs 26.2 for the last 200, You, You can do this. Think about those reps. Think about those things that Peter Fortune gave you for a long time. You were there at Collingwood doing those efforts. Can you finish with 26? We comes down the main straight. Rasul steps off. Hugh Van Kylenberg. He's everyone's favourite podcaster. Can the imperfects go perfect? 324, 325. Oh, he's missed it by a uh, second. He's missed it by 0.94 of a second. S Steve Hooker, though, gives him the cheer. Hugh Van Kylenberg, you're still the man in my heart, though, tonight. You did everything you could. Well done. Well done to Simon Glendinning, BJ Cole, Steve Hooker, and Hugh Van Kylenberg. It was an extraordinary event. It was something different. There are definitely people in this crowd who just came for that. And I, for one, am very proud that I got to see it. And not just that, call it, Brady. Oh, I don't know where all the photographers have been the whole night because about 35 of them lined up on the track to get <laughs> the money shot there that I hadn't seen previously this evening. But it's good to see they're in here and the, the crowd's getting louder. I feel like we're getting louder in this box and the crowd outside this window is also getting louder. 